Five, four, three, two, one. We're all rated up and we're ready to go. It's game time, baby. This is 2K4CTF, pug number two of the night. This will be map one on Grindle Keep. Got a quick grab here by Blimpo. Going to go straight out shock. He's going to try to just outrun the defense here. Rocket's coming straight in on his head. Denies that idea. PB grabbing blue flag. He's going to go down. You got Fail Sauce running out in front, in front of Red. He's got their flag, but he's got three people on him. Seeing a lot of flag movement already. It's going to be Bob running out, pissing straight back to his flag. He's going to hope to get some cover because the defense is right behind him. He's got three people on him, four for blue, converging on the flag. We've got some pickups coming in, but nobody able to get these kills to clear this out. Hundreds got taken. I presume amps got taken. Let's see if we can find an amp on us. There we go. Blimpo's got one. Looks like he's going to take this on offense. And uh, try to take out some of these uh, red cover guys as his teammate pistons right back in a base. Blue now trying to take an early lead. HV gets taken out on his own stand. Uh, or excuse me, HV well, gets taken out on a blue stand. Right able, right able to get that return. And Blue's going to hesitate now. They're actually going to wait for that flag because he sneaks in to pick it up. He's got some cover. Um, he's got some. Got some cutoffs coming from him too, though. So he's going to get stuck underneath that lift right there. Area denied. Bob going to get a, get a grab here. He's got red all over him. Going to go down in pretty much the same spot. Just about time for these amps to be spawning again. Red flag is missing, but Blimpo is going to go down pretty quickly here. If they can get a one more shot on him. Down to 29 health. Rocket's coming in. He's got that shield gun, though. He's going to get back to his shock. No red to cut him off. They're all behind him now. Blue with a good chance here. They can get this pick up and uh, evade by going up that lift. They're going to get in their front door. If this if this return comes back, this could be a cap. There's a return and there's the cap. No one on red in position to make a grab there. They did manage to get blue uh, blue amps, so maybe they can turn this into a rebound cap. Doesn't look like it. It looks like blue uh, doing a good job of clearing back out that base. Let's follow Zeos for a little bit. He's going to get shot in the back, but going to get going to get a uh, shot on the, uh, the attackers coming in. Looks like Red's dropping three in, them, three in on them at once. It's going to be difficult for them to keep this flag home. They're going to have to rely on a lot of cutoffs. Kuski now, you see him pissing into his base. Actually gets a shot off on Bob, the flag carrier for Blue. Get back into his... Uh, he's back in his base. He's only got 10 health, though. He's going to need someone to come up and get this flag from him. Because pretty much anything, if HV hits him with a thought, he's going to go down. There's a rocket coming in. One more. Can't finish him off. Blue's going to get this grab, though. Both teams are kind of out of position here. You see Red finally dropping back. They're going to protect their flag carrier some more. Zeos, though, completely alone, running across mid. His team not able to get the pickup. Both stood back and shot instead of transiting to the flag. That's a loose ball that nobody dove for right there. So they're able to tie this game up. 1-1 one, one game. It was just a few minutes into it. So uh, there you go. You see Kuski uh, grabbing the flag, going to go back uh, into blue base, going to pick up some health, wait for his cover to clear things out in mid, maybe uh, try to confuse the defense a little bit. The piston straight up to mid. He's got three in front of him, and uh, yeah, blue pretty much just cutting off all angles on that on that route. Let's see if we can get a view of another defender here. So you see HV right along Zeos in base, in base for blue. PB able to just outshoot him there. He's going to get a pretty good run here out of lightning gun. HV in pursuit misses one of the transes, misses a couple. So he's going to be put back a little bit. Zeos able to get that cutoff though and slow down the flag carrier. HV hoping to get the finish with a link gun there, but there's uh, three red shooting at him. So this blue flag is going to be moving quite a ways. HV able to get, get in front, take the 100 armor away from the red offense. That's going to be in a mean a lot because it effectively doubles your health. So HV going to go ahead and grab him, get, get, that, get that flag moving off the stand, hopefully give his team time to get that return. Because keep being patient, waiting for his team to clear the base. Good move by him not diving straight in for the flag stand as soon as he got into base because that's uh, too predictable and it'll, it'll end up uh, getting you killed really quickly. Meanwhile, this is Fail Sauce. Going to bring this flag up high mid. He knows the D is out of position because they were just fighting over their own flag uh, on that last little... Uh, Okay, so PB is going to get out now. He's going to go high mid. 
Got two blue, or one blue on him now. There's another blue, I think, trying to cut him off. He's going to get four health. The extra crater is jumping down his shock, and HV is like, thank you very much. It's a late Christmas present for HV, as that's going to give their team the, uh, the tying cap. So blue now losing the net battle as far as fragging goes, but a quarter at the uh, one quarter point into this game, it's, it's all tied up. I believe this is going to be... Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure who that is. Everyone's going to alias, then good luck with the uh, with the cast there. But uh, whoever it is is going to get the kill there. So PB pushing out, uh, pushing out Flak. Nobody on him. I'm not sure. Well, Blue sees him now, so they're definitely going to be ready for a cutoff. HV going to try to get a combo behind him. Forces him to back up a little bit. Zeos and HV all over him. Kuski uh, trying to take out the D. Not going to get it. Let's see where Red Flag's going. Blimpo's got a little bit of cover. Almost dead, though, so uh, you're going to see some pretty fast... Pretty fast lightning gun shots coming out. Going to take him out really quickly. There you go. Nobody there for the pickup. So we're seeing a lot of coordinated offense by both teams. They're both sending uh, three people in at once. Not a whole lot of effective cover past the midpoint, though. We're seeing a lot of cutoffs, a lot of returns happening in that mid area. See Blimpo dancing around there, trying to run with uh, Link. Able to, to take him out with that plasma shot. So a last ditch effort there by Blimpo, just trying to finish him off. Able to do it. PB misses the mid jump, and uh, he's going to wish I wasn't covering him on that one. But Blimpo goes down. Veilsauce can't get the pickup. They bounce him off it with rockets. So that means we've got a, a double kill and a killing spree coming in. Gets a little bit of crush damage. Down to three health. He's going to go down very quickly. And that's going to get returned. None of the power-ups up. So we'll go ahead and follow Fail Sauce again. Being very aggressive, trying to just keep this flag moving. Two red on him. Maybe he can get this out a little bit further. You might see a cherry pick, but he's not able to get the D away from the base far enough. Cussie's grabbing, going out shock. Um, Zeo's going to lay some combos on him. Doesn't have any cover in front of him. His cover's all behind him. That's not going to do him any good when he's getting cut off. And there you go. You see Fail Sauce coming back just to cut him off. Uh, however, he's able to survive all that. He's actually in front of the blue team. He can piss it right back to base. Denied on the stick, though. And that flag gets returned. So a lucky little combo coming out there. This would have been a 3-2 game. Fail Sauce is going to keep that flag moving again. He's going to piss in straight. Go straight up to high mid. Combo gets missed. That gives his cover time to get in position. They're going to be able to clear behind him. He's going to get back into his base. His cover needs to get back in front of him, though, so they can keep this base clear. They don't want him to get caught by himself in the flag stand. Looks like Blue's in position now, getting ready for a flag standoff. Looks like they're going to opt to play it right on the stand. They want to get this cap as soon as possible if a cover, if a uh, return does come in. Not a, no re, no uh, imminent returns though, for the time being. As uh, Red's in their base, they've got cover. They're set up for a flag standoff. They're going the other route. They're going to dance around a bit, try to keep uh, keep the defense in between their flag carrier and themselves. So you got PB and Kuski over here. Double team in Zeos. He's probably going to go down soon. There he goes. So Red in good position for a flag standoff. They're going to be bouncing around, hoping they can get their flag carry this 50 armor. Blue doing pretty much the same thing, although they're sticking around to the uh, the actual flag stand a little bit more, hoping to hoping to get an instant cap if they can get that return. Fail sauce. They're going to be pushed back off the flag stand by some uh, some lightning gun action coming in. However, Red's still pushing in, kind of one at a time. That's going to let them triple team them whenever they jump in. There they go. They're finally. Finally going to get a coordinated attack in here. One goes down. Blim Blimpo with the pickup. Their amp is up. Failsaw is going to pick that up and take that on cover. Or excuse me, on, uh, yeah, cover probably. Let's see if I can get a camera on him. There we go. There you go. See a double coat coming in with that amp. These amps can be huge for both returns or blocking returns. Um, he passes that flag off. He passes it off to someone with amp and half health. So I imagine they'll be passing this right back pretty quickly. Well, maybe not. Now that uh, now that Failsauce has 50 armor, well, he's going to go down anyway. As you see, Red now jumping back to the stand, thinking that they've got that return. They didn't have it. They're still in good shape. They're going to be bouncing around, uh, moving around the base. The one interesting thing is, since that 100 armor spawns way out in mid over there, 
Neither of these flag carriers are going to have a chance to get out there and get it. It's going to be a huge risk if they do. It has been done before, but you're pushing so far out of your off of your stand that uh, it's definitely a big risk. To see red now looking kind of kind of slow, blue base more the same. Um, what you're going to need to see from both of these teams is a coordinated attack to try to get this. We've got both teams with, with some of their cover guys on killing sprees right now. Oh, some flat coming in. Does get the kill, not able to get the return. You see red jumping back to the uh, to the stand. We're getting back to uh, amp time now. As you see Kuski waiting on their amp, he's going to pick that up. See what he decides to do with it. It may decide to take this on return. It's exactly what he does. So they're going to hide their flag carry a little bit. You see him hiding right below him down there. So red team is going to push a third person on return with amp and hope that they can... Uh, they can pull this back across as their flag carrier hides. Looks like he's going to go down. Either that or a pass. He doesn't get the return, though. So you see a multi quill coming out by Red here. Coming right back into his base, and Blimpo actually going to get that return. The Red team goes down himself, so... Both teams kind of trying to uh, push the issue there, and that's whenever that, that flag standoff ended, and both teams got returned at the exact same time. So Bob pushing across with red flag. That's going to get picked up and a double kill coming in. So that one's going to get returned. See red pushing out. He's going to leave high. Nope, we're going to drop off that lift. Try to double back, but Zeo's going to take him out quickly. Let's go ahead and follow him a little bit. You see the triple shock on PB. Both teams' defense is now doing a pretty good job of keeping their bases uh, under control, all things considered. We are already well past the halfway halfway point of this map, so definitely not going to be a high-scoring Grindle. Uh, but we're all knotted up, and the way these teams are playing, wouldn't be surprised to see an overtime here, but we'll see what happens. A lot of times this power-up control will start to break down right around this point in the map. We have seen Blue uh, just pick up their own amp, so at the very least they have timing of that. Um, and in my opinion, I think the amps can be an even bigger game-breaker than the 100 armors in this map. So we'll follow Fail Sauce as he strolls across the map. Red must not know where he is because he's down to 10 health. Looks like Red is, uh, has lost him, so they're all covering their flag carrier. He's going to go down, though. Nobody get that pickup. Blue now, their flag carrier is in base completely alone. Nobody knows where he is. He's going to piss him back to base. And there you go. I don't know how Red lost track of him, but Fail Sauce able to just completely stroll across mid. A nice little ninja run there. Blimbo now ready to jump right back across mid. He had some... Uh, had some armor, he had some extra health, he's going to get all the way back to his base. We're going to see another flag standoff here, as uh, Red's probably going to get back into their base. So a lot of blue there ready to cover. He's going to run into two defenders right here, but he's got cover ready to go. Going to get those kills, and uh, here we go, another flag standoff. This time we'll see if both teams play at standard again. Um, last time they, they pretty much held off for a couple minutes, and then they both got antsy at the same time and tried to push things a little bit and take a couple risks. And it led to both teams losing their flags uh, simultaneously and both getting returned. Uh, I know we saw Kuski with his amp recently. Or that last amp went to him. Blue looks like they got their amp that time, but they got killed right off it. So it looks like uh, Red's going to have timing of both amps here. That could be huge if they have a chance to come back. If they can get both amps on offense at the same time. It could be very big very big for breaking this blue D and, uh, and allowing them to get across the map. Uh, however, right now they have to worry about just getting this flag back. Blimpo under pressure now. His cover's not in position to get a pickup. Red able to double team and jump right on that flag. You sell them two, two of their, uh, or both of their return guys got the kill and both dove straight at the flag and body blocked, uh, body back, uh, body block blue from being able to pick that up and extend this flag standoff. So, good move there. And now HV is going to get all the way back across his map, across the map for his team, but he's got two red waiting on him. So he's going to go down. Three red are there now. Not able to get that return yet, but everybody's all in one spot now. Everybody's going to be fighting over it, and uh, everybody's going to die as we see both flags going down. Haven't really caught the timing of the 100 armor there. Looks like we had a cherry pick there by red. Not going to go very far with that. Limpo's going to get out. Looks like he may have comboed himself a little bit there, but does the job. Able to take out the red defender. He's got a little bit of cover waiting for him high mid now. Going to get back to his 50, but two more red waiting to cut him off. 
They get that kill. They don't get the return. He gets body blocked again, and that's the danger of having your offense turn around and try to cut off the flag carrier. If you don't get the return, they can pick up that shield and just go straight for their flag stand. Kuzki now double killing his way across the map. He's trying to get a little rebound cap. He's going to piss him back into his base. Planning on dropping here. He's pretty much going to go down. Hoping his team get the pickup, but there's nobody in position. See if we can follow this amp here. Maybe see a return from the... Uh, there he goes. See a nice amp return right there. But Red uh, grouping up together. They got three people now all, all on the flag carrier. Hoping they can uh, get this across mid. They get one kill. Can't get the other though as Blue drops a third person down. And with four and a half minutes left up by one, you can probably expect Blue to do that. Might as well play a little bit more conservative. Um, this is a very easy map for your third offensive player to sort of go back and forth between cutting off flag carriers and turning around to cover their, their own flag carrier. Kuski getting a double kill there. Pushing himself across the map. He can plan on the blue cutoffs, hitting them right about now. There they come. They're all in front now. They're all above them. He needs some cover to get a kill. He decides, screw it. I'll just do it myself. Both of the return killed. HV is the only one left between him and the base. They're going to get in, and they're going to be in a position for another standoff here. Um, however, they... Oh, wow. Telefrag coming in from behind by Zeos. Catches him completely off guard. However, the piston ends up killing him because of the combo. So we've got a fight over the flag stand here. Failsauce able to jump in before Kuzi can get there. And that, that Zeos telefrag right there instantly returning the flags. Kuzki had no idea he was even there. Nothing you can do about that. So with three and a half minutes left, we see Blue finally pulling away um, with a two-cap two lead despite losing this frag battle. As you see, their net's significantly lower than Red's. But we've seen him win a couple standoffs. Well, right as I say that now, Red able to, to push this one across the map on a... Uh, a nice little rebound cap. They do, however, need to regroup and, uh, and get their own flag under under control. So one cap in three minutes is very easily doable. We see Red able to push back out. Three minutes left. Some nice cover kill there coming in by Kuski. He's going to go down, but he's going to get his flag carrier time to get back into his 50. He's going to get inside his base. He's going to want to drop this. It's pretty low health, but their flag is still in base. Going to get dropped. Going to get the return. Failsauce able to, to do that as they extend that flag run just long enough to let their team prevent the tying cap by Red. Red has been getting back to base a lot um, in these last few minutes. So now it's really just a matter of them uh, holding the flag down as they get back into base. What you might see is that their cover may need to stop waiting in mid to get some kills. They may need to start suiciding back so they can help clear it out. See the fight over mid, or the fight over the blue flag room again. Amp is up on blue side. Whoever can get this, or actually it looks like fail sauce may have grabbed that, and it might just be a networking weirdness there. They're gonna drop that flag off. They're gonna wait on this flag stand here. They want to get this return and an instant cap. However, Bob's gonna take some some rockets up close. Red though, in between him and the flag stand, they're gonna be able to get it off the stand. They end up winning that fight, so Red gets the return and the flag grab. Not gonna go anywhere most likely, but. He does have two cover on him, so maybe maybe I'm wrong here. They're going to get out the front door. They're outnumbered, however. Red has two. They have another one coming. This is a good time. They're running low on time. They really need to push uh, probably four offense here with a minute and a half left. They need this flag carry to get back to base. After that, they can worry about winning a standoff. But they need all hands on deck to make sure they can fight their way through this blue, uh, blue, blue defense here. As you see, blue offense turning around to cut off that, too. So we're going to watch this this blue flag, because this is the one that's going to determine who wins this game. you got a minute, just under a minute and a half left. Kuzi's going to jump in jump in and get a grab quickly. Goes straight out to high. Don't think he has any armor. Nope, he had a little bit extra health. He's going to get high mid. Blue knows where he is, though. He has no cover on him. His cover's going to need to step up right about now, so he's going to go down. Zeo's able to get that return before the cover can step up. One minute remains. So Failsauce moving the red flag. Um, really probably not too antsy to get back into base because all he has to do is uh, keep this flag off the stick and his team's going to be uh, inching towards victory. Then again, if they get this return, this will be an instant cap. There you go. That'll put it out of reach. So blue team's going to win this one 6-4. to four. Didn't pull away until the final minute, though. As we saw some really uh, long standoffs there. PB with eight headshots this game. Some nice numbers coming in for him. Five for uh, whoever that is. 30 seconds left. We saw Blimpo with 500s, 4 for HV. So blue team, uh, 20 seconds. blue team pretty much dominating the 100 armors. Um, it could have been the difference here. 
I know they saw a, a lot of flag standoffs, though, were really kind of went their way. They didn't necessarily cap all, off of all of them. Red definitely won the frag battle here, but a lot of times that's what you'll see is if one team has a, has a lot more armors, it effectively gives them more health. So you can... You can you can lose some of these frag battles and still if you have a have a little bit extra health at the right time it can mean a it can mean a cap anyway.